again, gamblers, cardists, and magicians. It's time for another playing card deck unboxing and review video. Today I've got cards that I ordered from Shin Lim. They are his white regalia playing cards. They are the second edition in the regalia playing card series, and they are an elegant, ornate deck. Let's not waste any time, and let's get into this package and see what these cards look like. Okay folks, this is the White Regalia Luxury Playing Card Deck from Shin Lim. They are printed by Cartamundi and they will have a B9 finish. There is a lot of gold foil on this deck of cards, as you can see on the tuck case. Uh, so let's quit talking and open this up so we can really see what these cards are like. Okay, the tuck case is made from two pearlized white casings. Uh, we can see here that there's a pull tab to get into the second casing. Uh, we'll do that in a second. But let's take a look at this uh, outer box first. On the front, it says Regalia Luxury Playing Cards. There is a double-headed eagle and a crown with a gold border. Everything on the front here is in gold foil and it is uh, embossed. All the way around. You can also see some shimmer from the pearlized white box. Gives it a really elegant look. On the side it says produced by Shin Lim, designed by Nick Vlo. And on the other side it says the exact same thing. Both sides are in gold foil. On the bottom we have some ad copy. We've got Shin Lim's logo here and also his website. Again, done in gold foil. On the top, we've got the pull tab for the inner box and some floral design with a R for regalia on there. Again, all in gold foil. And on the back, we have the Shin Lim logo, his tie with his initials, all in gold foil and embossed. Let's pull the tab and see what the inner box is like. On the inside, we've got the design for the backs of the cards, all in gold foil and slightly embossed. On the side, we've got the same ad copy produced by Shin Lim and designed by Nick Vlo. On the other side, we have a double-headed eagle, again, slightly embossed and in gold foil. This inner box is also pearlized white. We can see the shimmer on that as well. Looks very nice. Let's take out these cards and see what they look like. Now for this deck, which is typical of a Cardamundi deck, uh, they have the cards shrink wrapped as well. So we've kind of got to get into this. I really don't like double shrink wrapping, but that's the way they do it at Cardamundi. Okay, out of the box, it looks like that this deck is possibly in a Mnemonica order. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it is or not, I'm guessing, uh, but we'll go through it regardless. We have the Ace of Hearts here, Ace of Clubs, and an Ace of Diamonds. All of them are quite typical, um, very, slightly different types of designs for the pips and things like that. Uh, nice and large as we can see here with the seven of spades. A nice large pips on those faces there. For the court cards here, the jack of hearts, we have a nice looking traditional face card. Jack of clubs. Jack of Spades. Going down through the deck here, we have Queen of Diamonds. Nice size pips, good dark red colors, and uh, some nice black as well. This deck of cards looks to be a very familiar type of deck, so that when you do magic for groups and things, it's not going to throw people off and make them think, oh, he's got a trick deck or anything like that. And this will also work really well with poker, blackjack, whatever, card night with your friends. 
Jack of Diamonds. Let's take a look at this design up close. Very traditional design. Here is the Ace of Spades. This is the Regalia logo here. Take a good close look at that. Now we come down here to the Regalia Jokers. Two identical Jokers. Both of them have the double-headed eagle on them with an R up at the top for Regalia. And at the end, we've got a blank card and an extra Queen of Spades. Let's take a look at the back of these cards. The back, just like the box, is in gold foil. Very nice feeling to it. There's a little bit of a texture to it. Of course, this is a hot stamped gold foil on these cards, so when they stamp gold foil on these, uh, you'll feel it a little bit. But they have finished these with a B9 finish, so they are sealed and they are going to flow real nicely for when you do cardistry and things like that. Take a good close look at these. Very nice looking deck of cards. Every one of these cards is gold foiled stamped. Very, very nice. Let's take a look and see what these look like in a fan. In a fan, this looks real nice, shimmery, very elegant looking. Looks better in person than it does on video. In a one-handed fan, these are going to look really nice. Very elegant looking cards. As you can see, they do an awful lot of shimmer and shine when you fan them out. They're going to catch the light an awful lot, so they're going to be very showy. Let's take a look at the faces. The indices shows up nicely on the faces. It's not too big, not too small. So when you do a nice fan, all the indices will be somewhat legible. See how they spring out of the box. Very nice. Shin Lim is a cardist as well. He does cardistry along with sleight of hand magic. So, these cards are going to perform absolutely wonderfully in spring and in cardistry. These will be fantastic. All right, let's see how these fare. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Like that an awful lot. Let's try this cut with them. Now, the thickness of these cards is just perfect. Uh, they're not too thick, not too thin. This is a this is really a, a good feeling deck of cards. Uh, the, the cards are nice and snappy. You know, you can still feel a little bit of the uh, texture of the, the uh, design, the hot stamping on the back. You can't really feel it much on this. They do have a linen finish on the cards, so they do help with um, them gliding real nicely. Uh, this is a fantastic deck of cards. These cards are really good for magic uh, with your with your friends. Uh, of course, these come from a magician. So if you uh, really like doing magic for your friends and all that. Can. So there you have it. That is the White Regalia playing cards by Shin Lim. You can get them at shinlimmagic.com or your favorite online playing card retailer. This is a really fantastic deck to add to your collection or to use for your poker night. And they will really stand out when you're doing magic and cardistry. That's it for now, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you at the next review. Bye-bye.